गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट द चैप्टर दैट इज फाइबर टू फैब्रिक वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट वुल दैट इज एनिमल फाइबर अगेन अनदर एनिमल फाइबर इज सिल्क सिल्क इज अ नेचुरल प्रोटीन फाइबर दे आर प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द मलबरी सिल्क मॉथ देर इज अ बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन एनिमल एंड प्लान फाइबर्स एनिमल फाइबर्स दे आर रिच इन प्रोटीन वेयर एज प्लान फाइबर्स दे आर रिच इन सेल्यूलोज Now next topic is silk farming, sericulture, rearing or taking care of silk worm to produce raw silk is called sericulture. Life cycle of silk moth. There are various stages in the life cycle of silk moth. Egg grows into larva. Larva is also called silk worm or caterpillar. It further grows into pupa. Pupa develops silk fiber around it. and that is called cocoon and finally adult silk moth comes out of the cocoon the female silk moth lays eggs on the mulberry leaves larva hatches from the eggs larva feed on the mulberry leaves and grow in size to form the pupa you must be observing that in fourth point i have written larvae because plural form of larva is larvae larva singular larvae plural pupa swings its head from side to side and secrete a fiber which is rich in protein called silk this covering is known as cocoon means pupa having a fiber of silk around it as a whole and that stage is known as cocoon the further development of a pupa into moth continues inside the cocoon and finally adult moth comes out of the cocoon by breaking it this slide will give you a clear description of life cycle of silk worm you can see adult moth is there adult female moth basically they lay egg and then egg develops into larva larva feeds on mulberry leaves for few days and then it undergoes a next stage called pupa pupa develops silk fiber by spinning its head side to side and after that a stage called cocoon is formed inside the cocoon the pupa develops into adult moth and it breaks off the cocoon and comes out as a adult moth so this is the life cycle of silk worm in this activity also you can see how nicely the model has been prepared using simple material like clay and colored paper eggs are being shown first stage the adult moth they are lay, laying the eggs they have laid the eggs on the mulberry leaves then it develops into larva larva into cocoon pupal stage is there inside the cocoon now two stages can be there first is when we just take out you can see here the we are taking out the fiber from the cocoon and that process is known as reeling you can see here i will show you here in this stage you can see either from the cocoon stage we can take out the silk fiber and this process is known as reeling or second is if the adult moth it develops and it breaks off the cocoon and moves out as the adult moth so two stages can be there if they are doing the sericulture process so this one is done and some of the cocoons they keep for the development of adult moth and 80% is used for sericulture so thank you very much enjoy your day and revise well